I'm Danny Barnes with the CCAA, and I'm joined right now by the head coach of the Cal Poly Humboldt men's basketball team, Chris Tipp. Coach, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Been uh, that's a lot of travel over the last couple of weeks. Uh, went to the Midwest for the holidays and just got back to town. So, uh, but but things are great. Uh, happy to be here and. Uh, just like everybody else, just trying to kind of get ready for the, the second semester and get ready for conference play. Well, good. Thank you for joining us today. We just want to learn a little bit more about the Lumberjacks. Obviously, you guys aren't quite to the halfway point of the season right now, but Christmas break, kind of the unofficial halfway point, lets you guys regather, get your thoughts as you kind of head into the full stretch of the conference season after this one. So I'd like to just talk to you a little bit, like I said, learn a little bit about your team. Um, you obviously being a new coach, this was your and a lot of new players on your team. You guys had the opportunity to open up the year with six games at home, including hosting a tournament against some of the better teams with some of the better teams in the region. Just yeah. tell me a little bit about that opening stretch and maybe what you learned about your team in that first six games at home. Well, I think we learned that we still have a lot to learn about our team. You know, we took over in July with zero players on the roster and we, you know, added 16 players in six weeks, which is, you know, tough uh exciting but uh i told somebody one time oh I, I had to actually coach the team i thought i just had to put the team together so uh we had to switch gears a little bit you know we've just kind of been behind the curve a little bit since we got here but uh, we have a great group of guys we did have the opportunity to play home games uh, early on um you know our first game this season we're up 20 in the in the second half and kind of let that game get away from us and uh, just kind of left a bad taste in our mouth. And I feel like we've kind of been fighting that ever since, you know, with our confidence and our ability to kind of uh, finish games. So um, it was great to kind of put our product, if you will, uh, in front of our home fans and, and get our fans excited. Uh, obviously, we wish we could have uh, won a few more games here and there, but it, it's a learning process for us. Uh, it, it truly is. Um you know, I've, I've been in this situation before where you take over a program, uh, but never in a situation where you take over so late and have no players on your roster. So uh, it's just been a challenge for us as coaches. Uh, it's been a challenge for our players to get acclimated, uh, to get to know each other, to get to know me. Um, you know, you're talking about coaching a team where you don't have one person uh, that you're familiar with or have experience with. But, um you know, we had a good win at Western Oregon right before the break. You know, we had a 15-point lead in the second half of San Marcos. We had a 20-point lead in the second half against Simon Frazier. We just need to find a way to kind of play a complete 40 minutes and get our players in a position where there's some consistency in their roles and their positions and uh, kind of build from there. So this is, this is a heavy lift for us in our program, but we're excited about where we are. Uh, but we just need to stay confident and keep getting better every time we play. We need game experience. We need to play games. We've only played nine games um, with a whole new team. We just need game experience. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for that honesty and everything as well. I, I really do. Um, on that note, you do talk about that. As you've seen your team come together, as you kind of, like you said, so many new guys, now they're kind of forming together as a team. What do you feel are some of the strengths that this team has that you would put kind of in that in that pro column, you know, if you're going through and list, checking off a strength? Yeah, you wouldn't say it by looking at our stats, but I feel like we have the ability to score the basketball. And uh, I told our team yesterday, we don't need better players. We just need to play better. And <laughs> I feel like we have good talent. I, I think we have a lot of young talent. There are times we're starting three or four freshmen. Um, and, you know, in this day and age with the transfer portal, that's not really um, very common. Uh, so, you know, we have some ups and downs. You know, we, we're fighting some confidence. We're fighting turnovers. We're fighting execution. Uh, but I do think we have good depth. Uh, I think we have great character. I think we have good talent. Uh, I just don't think we have a lot of experience. And maybe not as much physical toughness as, as I would like for our program to have. We talked a little bit about uh, yesterday about um, how we play needs to kind of be an extension or needs to kind of be a, a look into how I want our, our program to, to look or the vision of our program, how we play, how we compete on the defensive end, how we execute on the offensive end. And we're just not quite there yet, but uh, I think we have great young players. I think we have a lot of talent. Uh, we just need some more consistency and some more confidence. And, uh, and it's hard to get experience unless you play games. And that's just kind of where we are right now. Well, you, it's interesting you mentioned experience. And I think that's a perfect lead into some of these stat type of questions. 
you guys are right now second in the CCA in bench scoring. You guys are have almost 30 points off your bench. Is that something you as a coach are trying to do is kind of, let's be honest, spread those minutes out to everybody to kind of get a whole bunch of people experience rather than, you know, seven guys playing the majority of the minutes? Yeah, you know, you, you can look at it a couple of different ways. You know, I, I think that we have good depth. Um, and, you know, when you're trying to establish a new program and establish accountability, there's going to be some situations where sometimes guys may play a little bit more one day and maybe not play as much the next. And it may be for reasons uh, on the floor, maybe for reasons off the floor, a little stuff, uh, competitive toughness, uh, focus, execution, things like that. So a lot of guys on our team are getting opportunities. And I think that's one of the challenges that we're finding is that we just haven't been able to kind of settle into a consistent lineup and consistent roles, you know, part of the process for us was to move some guys around and, and get them back in their natural positions. We're trying to kind of play some guys out of position. Uh, but, you know, we do have good bench scoring, but I, I feel like, you know, we have good talent, you know, one through 10. Uh, it's just a matter of trying to find out who's going to play most of the minutes and what positions they're going to play. You know, we go to Western Oregon, uh, Rob Diaz doesn't play because of an Achilles. Chase Hedinger doesn't play because of sickness. Uh, Page on Slater doesn't play because of plantar fasciitis. So um, it's just hard for us to build some consistency with how we approach the minutes and the production. Um, looking at our stats earlier today, we have a lot of guys who are kind of in the same range in terms of field goal attempts per game. And I, I look around the conference, you know, you scout opponents, obviously, and you see teams that play seven, eight players. And I think that does help to a certain degree. Uh, but as we build our program and we kind of try to establish a, a culture, uh, I think it's important to kind of keep everybody accountable and give guys opportunity who deserve it. And uh, that's just kind of where we've been the first the first half of the season. Fantastic. Thank you very much. All right. So let me get into some of these. Um, just one more quick question for you, and then I'm going to get into some of these rapid fire questions for you. Yeah. We, can, we talked about some of the box um, stuff that shows in box score. I also just want to make the mention you guys are fourth in the CCA in field goal percentage, almost 46%, and third in rebounding margin. So, like you said, two numbers that do stand out, I'm sure, helpful for the coach. But if I were to look through those season stats or even look through a box score, what is something about your team that doesn't stand out necessarily in the box score, but you feel your team does well? Well, that's a great question. I don't know if I have a very good answer because, you know, you always look at these stats. Um you know, I, I do think we share the ball. I, I, I don't know. That if you look at our assist numbers, you would not think that. Uh, I think we're an unselfish group. And I don't know that we always know when to share it. I think we have some young guys who are really having a hard time trying to figure out when to score and when to pass the ball. But I do feel that if you look at our field goal attempts, um, you know, we're, we're, we're very much in a place where we have a lot of guys with almost the same amount of field goal attempts. And – uh, when you look at that as a coach, that means that guys aren't, you know, selfish and that guys are sharing the basketball, trying to give each other opportunities. Um, obviously, your assist numbers are helped a little bit if the ball goes in, uh, you know, so I think that would help a little bit. But I do think that we, we do a nice job of trying to share the basketball. Um, and defensively, I think we're trying to do the right things. I just don't know if we're physically tough enough quite yet. You know, like you said, our rebounding margin is is decent uh, our field goal percentage is decent uh, but um, you know there's some things that we need to improve upon to kind of help some of those other numbers but uh, our, we do have high character um, I think it's just I've given them a lot of, I told myself I was going to keep this very simple for all of our players and I think I've complicated it a little bit trying to find some ways to maybe score some more points uh, so if we can just keep it simple and let these guys just play free and loose I think we'll be uh, in a better place I love it. Thank you very much. All right. Got five quick questions for you. We'll uh, close out our interview this way. So this will be about the team and a little bit about you. So who is your best one-on-one -on -one def defender on the perimeter? Uh, I would say Ramaya Adidaba. You know, he's a Juco transfer from North Platte, originally from the LA area. Uh, strong, uh, maybe not as tall as we'd like. You know, we always like those six, six wing defenders. Uh, but Ramaya does a really good job on the ball. Very athletic, very strong, very tough. So I, I, I put him number one. Love it. Thank you. Who's your best rebounder? Uh, right now, I think it's Paige on Slater. You know, he's a freshman from Lancaster, you know, about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, um, does a really good job rebounding the ball. And Isaac so well as well as a freshman. You know, he has limited minutes so far, but we picked him up a week before school started. 
And, uh, you know, he's a, a guy that really, really plays hard. He's only about six foot five, not very, not very big, but he has a nose for the basketball and really competes. So those two guys, I would say. Love it. Would you rather score 90 or hold a team below 50? Uh, is this being a broadcast in public? I'd say below 50, but I know that's not the pol politically correct answer. So, um, <laughs> if you put this out in public, I'd say score over 90, but, uh, you know, in close in a closed room in my office, looking at all this stuff, I, I like to hold people below fifty. That's the right coach's answer. I understand right. completely on that. And we're going to play fast. You know, when the interview for the the job, we're going to play fast and exciting. So. <laughs> um, what is your favorite practice drill? Favorite practice drill. It's a great question. Um, I like anything that kind of gets the juices going a little bit and, and makes guys competitive. There's some rebounding drills I really like, and then there's some toughness drills uh, where you trap the, the ball handler. But the one that we've instituted lately is the one-on-two. So uh, when I was a player, I played for a Hall of Fame coach, uh, Gene Best at Three Rivers, uh, who was just inducted to the Naismith Hall of Fame uh, this August. But we had to go out there and try to score against two guys that each had a pad and, and you couldn't get off the floor until you scored And the guys with the pad, they were not very uh, welcoming, I should say. So you really had to earn your stripes on that drill. So that's, that's one of my favorites. I hated it as a player. That's why I love it as a coach, but we just instituted that last week. All right. I know you haven't played that many. This is a question I'm asking all coaches. So even though this is your first year in the league, I'm not going to leave you out of it. Where is the hardest place to play in the CCAA? away from your away from home well we've played two so far i know uh, i know <laughs> it's okay uh, i like the question i think the hardest place for us to play is sonoma because we had to play at san marcos then travel to sonoma and then play uh so uh, i think any combination of those two and some people will say cal poly humble it's a hard place to play because of the travel uh, but uh sonoma was a tough place for us just because of the travel after being in uh, sunny San Diego, then flying up, or San Marcos, then flying up and, and trying to play on a short turnaround. Uh, that was a difficult day for us. Thank you very much. Thank you for answering that question as well. Uh, and thank you for your time today. Just want to hear a little bit more about the Lumberjacks and just good luck the rest, the second half of the season. No, we need it. I appreciate the time. 